I'm Amanda. I'm Tracy. And we're going to be talking about narrative therapy today. The limits of language mean the limits of my world. Ludwig Wittgenstein. What childhood stories are you still clinging on to? When he was a child, Bob's parents repeatedly told him to try harder to fall asleep. At age 50, he finally realized that was not very good advice. Everyone's life is filled with stories. They can be positive, negative, serious, or ridiculous, but they all play a role in shaping how a person sees himself or herself as well as who the person can become. Narrative therapy examines such stories to pinpoint those that are contributing to problems in a person's life and then works on helping people reauthor those stories to achieve the goals they wish to achieve. Problems are externalized and separated from the person. Our analogy was um, oil and water because they don't mix much like um, the problem and the person don't mix. They are always separate. Characteristics of narrative therapy. In Alice Morgan's book, What is Narrative Therapy? An easy to read introduction outlines the basics of this therapeutic approach as well as some of its common techniques. She says narrative therapy is respectful and interactive, creating a true collaboration between the therapist and the person seeking therapy. It refrains from blame. It makes people the experts in their own lives and views people and their problems as separate entities. It helps people use their skills, values, beliefs, and abilities to decrease the power problems have over their lives. Two of the foremost principles in this type of therapy are always being curious and always asking questions. When is it used? Ma major depressive disorders. Um, narrative therapy can be especially effective for people who carry certain negative labels. Narrative therapy can be particularly beneficial for those who are seen as non-compliant, difficult, self-defeating, depressed, and anxious. People's lives are created and interpreted through their stories. Ones they hear create in their own minds and ones they tell and retell. Problems are manufactured in social, cultural, familial, political, and historical contexts rather than being intrinsic to or inherent in the person. How narrative therapy works. First, a client comes with a dominant story. This is their perspective on their situation or issue at hand, and they will tell the story with that perspective. Dual purpose with singular goal, meaning there's two different purposes, but you come in with one goal, meaning they have a purpose of Re, re, well, recreating authors in a purpose story, and that's how the dual purpose comes into play is because they go from a negative to a positive with yes. one goal in mind. They are rewriting their story. Okay, so now you're going to watch a video, and it says, you will see these components during the following narrative counseling session with Maria. Chat call, you can't see it very dark here. It says, chat call, sequence the components. So your components are perspective question, opening space question, externalizing the problem, deconstructing the plot, creating counterplots, and identify identity story. Um, so you would write these down, and then at the end, you will tell us what sequence they went in, and that would be your chat call for the evening. Thank you. Thank you.